with so many rapid developments in the industry, driven by hot trends such as AI and automation, there is a plethora of challenges and opportunities that arise for telco players of all kinds. To explore this topic more deeply, I'm delighted to be joined by Beatrice Ortega, Telco Business Development Manager for EMEA at Red Hat. So Beatrice, can you tell us a little bit more about your role at Red Hat? Thank you, Gianni. Okay, yes, my role, as you mentioned it before, is Telco EMEA Business Development. That means, yes, specifically, specifically, yes, yeah, oriented to the automation, BSS, OSS area, and uh, where analytics is considered, okay? Uh, the role of uh, business development involves uh, identifying and creating new business opportunity to drive the growth and profitability of a telco customer. Uh, of course, uh, we are just uh, involving just products, uh, Red Hat product solutions and, uh, and services. I'm focusing on building relationships with potential customers uh, and partners, exploring market trends and developing new strategies to expand the organization rate. Um, I often work on market research, negotiations, sales, and strategic planning uh, to foster business growth. That is mainly just the summary of my, of my role. And how does Red Hat's role in the telco industry help to address telco challenges? And how does it compare to other players in the market? It's a big question. So, uh, Red Hat said, uh, uh, Red Hat's committed just yes, to the telco industry has been just yes, evident just yes, from the from the from the past decade. Okay, through our product adaptation to telco, active participation in the industry standards, and just yes, uh, our partnerships with the, the main important uh, telco vendors, Red Hat plays a, a significant role in the telco industry by providing mainly open source solutions and technologies tailored as for, for telecommunication service providers. Uh, Red Hat's offerings, especially it's um, Red Hat OpenStack, just for virtualizing, or just Red Hat OpenSIF, are designed to help telco companies build and manage cloud native and virtualized networks. In, additionally, we have Ansible Automation Platform, that is one of the most known um, solutions in the industry for automation, uh, and it is being essential in multiple telco use cases. Red Hat solution and services enable telco yes, uh, operators to transition from the traditional hardware dependent system to more agile and software defining networks. This transition facilitates yes, the, the implementation of cloud native architecture, okay, essential for 5G networks, for instance, edge computing, uh, network functions virtualization and other innovative technology that are crucial for the modern telecom telecommunication services. Uh, Red Hat additionally has yes, collaborated with the most relevant telco industry partners and contributes to the open source project with the telco sector, okay, for instance, in the TM Forum. They work on initiatives aimed to en enhancing just yes, network automation or improving security or just yes, optimizing network performance. Why is different just yes, the approach that Red Hat has just yes, considering just yes, the rest of the, of the providers? I think yes, uh, we have a comprehensive solution. Okay? Red Hat offers a round of solution covering various aspects of telco operation from the infrastructure to containers orchestration with OpenSIF. This comprehensive approach allows telco operators to address multiple challenges using uh, integrated solution. <clears throat> Automation, for instance, is crucial, yes, and, and, and persevive. Uh, concern in the telco industry. Here, Ansible and our automation, Yarney concept, can be instrumental on this telco transformation path. Red Hat solutions are designed to be adaptable and scalable, okay? So, uh, one platform that supports your unique workflows whenever and wherever you need, providing agility, uh, portability, flexibility, scalability, and security to telco operators. So uh, that is the mainly just the, the, the comprehensive solution, but that is not only this, okay? That is not the product or the what, okay? It's more important just yes, the how. We are working just yes, uh, with the open source uh, expertise. Red Hat is a leader in, in, in open source technology. Their commitment to the open source principles allows telco operators to customize and optimize your solution according to their specific needs, fostering uh, flexibility and innovation uh, in each of these steps. 
Additionally, we have a huge collaborative ecosystem that is one of the main principles that Red Hat has. And, it's, uh, and, and, and Red Hat is actively just yes, collaborating with the diverse ecosystem of partners, developers, and community. Nokia, Ericsson, Mavenir, Netcracker, Andox, their experience and expertise demonstrate their ability to deliver solutions that meet the telco industry's requirement effectively. Uh, we can talk about uh, industry focus, support and services, uh, just a clear commitment with the innovation, global presence that I think is important, okay? Just a uh, um, commitment uh, to the open uh, standards or uh, that kind of things that is because that, that means that the, 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 the proposal or the, the Red Hat value proposition is unique in the market. And when it comes to hot topics in Teoko, like AI, Edge and automation, how is Red Hat responding? Red Hat is actively just responding to the hot topics, to this kind of, the, uh, of hot topics in the telco industry, including artificial intelligence, as you say, or uh, computing or, or, or automation through several um, uh, strategic initiatives. Really, they are not a vertical product or solution um, for all of them, yes, we need to consider, yes, in some cases, all of them for the right ecosystem for answering telco needs. I mean, yes, artificial intelligence at the edge will be nothing without uh, S computing and automation. An autonomous network will be uh, will not be real without uh, artificial intelligence algorithms. So, so there is uh, not uh, one solution that is uh, just covering all the aspects. But it's true that we have some verticals that we can just use as a real or important pieces for this ecosystem. For instance, the artificial intelligence that you mentioned, okay? Red Hat integrate uh, artificial intelligence into its platform, okay? Uh, enabling just telco operators to implement artificial intelligence driving solution for predictive maintenance, customer service automation, and network automation. We have an uh, OpenSIF artificial intelligence and hub developer solution that they, uh, is a, they, they are a framework yes, uh, that can be supported by OpenSIF in order to develop the new application and the new algorithms in order to improve and uh, in order to do a, a smarter uh, networks okay, for, for Delco. Uh, or collaborative uh, with a huge artificial intelligence solution providers and integrated te or technologies into Red Hat platforms uh, means or are a able to, to, to expand the range of the artificial intelligence tools available to telco operators. And here we can talk about uh, GPUs uh, with the NDVA or Intel. We can talk about Cloudera for data governance. We can talk about um, partnership with SAP for data analytics, Microsoft, Anaconda, Seldon. So uh, the ecosystem is huge because it's impossible just to provide the right solution with only one vendor, with only one product. Okay, So we need one ecosystem. Uh, if we are talking about edge computing, uh, Red Hat provides solution for this computing that allows telco operators to process data closer to the source, reducing latency and improving real-time decision making. With OpenSIF or micro OpenSIF, telco customers are able to have the same coherent and same comprehensive behavior from hyperscales to data center and edge, creating applications with exactly the same customer experience. It doesn't matter where, where they, they are created and where they are de deployed. Uh, Red Hat offers uh, edge infrastructure solution enabling telecom operators to deploy application and services at the network edge, supporting use cases uh, like uh, IoTs or content delivery and low latency devices and services. That is the kind of the new era of services that we can see just for the next uh, five years. And yes, the last one, or perhaps I don't, I don't, I don't want to say the last one because they are multiple. But automation is essential. Essential. Red Hat. Uh, emphasize yes, automation through technologies like uh, Ansible or uh, ICM with, uh, with uh, OpenCF, HCS, which automate repetitive tasks, streamlines operators, and ensure just consistency across uh, telco networks. So, some complex uh, use cases such as zero touch operation or uh, zero touch provisioning, health remediation, artificial intelligence ops, uh, integrate its automation process for real time answering. Uh, Real uh, Red Hat uh, uh, is focuses on the orchestration and the automation of network function, enabling just telco operators to efficiently manage their virtualized and cloud native environments. Red Hat supports the implementation, very important, of the CI CD, 
we are we have the CICD in our DNA, okay? So really the continuous integration, continuous deployment uh, pipelines, allowing telco operators to automate the software delivery process without spend just a long time uh, for, a, for, a, for change, yes, the, the, this, this is a cycle, a continuous cycle, yes, I'm, I'm developing, I'm testing, I'm deploying, I'm developing and testing, I'm deploying, okay? So, we can talk about uh, multiple things about this environment because it's very, very um, amazing uh, uh, environment, new environment. So the collaboration and the ecosystem is essential. The training and, and support services are crucial. Um, so that is perhaps the, 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 the goals or just the, the, the objectives that the Red Hat can put on the table in order to accelerate as much as possible this kind of solutions. As we've seen, the technology news indicates that this will be the era of developers. How does Red Hat plan to support the developers community? Red Hat's uh, commitment to developers is clear and uh, it is oriented just from the highest management. We are supporting developers uh, in se with several initiatives and strategies. Okay, The first of, of, of all is the developers-focused platform. So we are creating uh, Red Hat OpenSea Artificial Intelligence and Developer Hub that are implemented on top of uh, OpenSea that is uh, leading just Kubernetes platform. First of all, just OpenSea simplify the deployment and management of containerized application, enabling just yes, developers to focus on writing code rather than managing infrastructure. But just yes, considering just yes, this new platform, OpenSea Artificial Intelligence and developer hubs, uh, you can create the perfect framework where a developer can be focused just yes, in building, coding, testing, and deploying algorithms and applications. Uh, additionally, Red Hat can be just the bridge between the enterprise and the open source ecosystem. And the open source ecosystem is essential for developers. So uh, Red Hat provides developers with access to a vast ecosystem of open source uh, tools, frameworks, platforms, fostering collaboration and innovation among developers. The third uh, initiative that we are having in our DNA and is essential for, uh, for, for, for developers is uh, be focused on DevOps practice. DevOps practice promoting collaboration between the development and the operations teams. Okay? And uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, they are working just in a continuous cycle for building, testing, deploying. Uh, so we, we are able to connect with the same methodologies uh, to different teams in the enterprise. Okay? And of course, we can support just the developers with the training and certifications. That specifically, yes, uh, are oriented to, to, the, to, to, to with programs to empower developers to stay up to date with the latest uh, with the latest uh, tools and, and practice. We we are we are working in the in the community engagement just in order to collaborate not only with the standards or with just the legacy vendors, just with the new uh, startups and with the new technologies that are here in order to offer the best. Uh, of the bread yes, solution to developers with services, with innovation and research, with partnership and integration, and in, 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 at, at least with the, with the continuous improvement and innovation in this area. So again, we are not developing just uh, algorithms or application or solution, but we are providing the right ecosystem for this, uh, for this kind of uh, teams. And uh, that will be just yes, uh, for the telco, for third parties, for uh, vendors for, that are supporting telcos. That is uh, one uh, standard for the right ecosystem just for developers. Beatrice, thank you for sharing your insights with us. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. The pleasure was mine. Thank you very much, Jenny.